Hey, it's Eric RPG again, and this is my last Halloween Let's Play, and hopefully I am able to finish it, because I'm suffering some rather bad weather on the eastern side of my, uh, my country, the U.S., uh, Hurricane Sandy, if you haven't been paying attention. But we're playing Akamojo Dracula, and the reason I'm playing this is, instead of playing Castlevania 4, that, that game has, uh, censorship, and I want to show you... Well, it's uncensored here. That's why I'm playing it. And the only English is in the intro, and I actually will read it, the text from the English version during the intro. Dripping blood, nice effect. See, there's a cross in this version. You can clearly see Dracula. So it's his gravestone. Find it. Oh, they're calling him Dracula. I said it was his real name, but I guess it's easier to read on a tombstone. Oh, no! Evil lightning. So, every 100 years, the forces of good mysteriously start to weaken. Thus, the power of Dracula starts to revive itself. His power grows stronger and stronger every 100 years. Dracula has revived many times. However, his sinister actions have been consistently thwarted by the Belmont family. It's been 100 years since the last confrontation between Dracula and the Belmont family, but now the serenity of Transylvania is being threatened by destructive forces. On a dark and eerie night, Dracula rose from his grave to unleash his destructive power over the countryside. Once again, Simon Belmont is called to destroy Dracula. Only with, with only his whip and courage, he sets out to restore peace in Transylvania. Now it's saying a lot of different things there, and it's... I don't know, I think it's overusing ellipses. And that tends to be a problem with Japanese writing and translating to English. I've seen many a Twitter from some people that work at Access who complain about this very issue. But that's just the attract mode. Let's get on to the game. But before I begin, I'm going to adjust the controls so that the item button is the L button. Because it will be much easier to deal with. And another difference from this version, from the U.S. version, is that there's a... Whoops, I waited too long. So the font's a little bit different, and it looks, actually looks a little bit better. So I'm going to put my name. I don't intend to use any kind of so fast words, but... That shouldn't be a problem. And this game is really supposed to be a remake of the original Castlevania, which was, interestingly enough, called Vampire Killer. But, uh, this game is actually called, uh, Akuma Jo Dracula, which in Japanese means Demon Castle Dracula. That's how it roughly translates. I could wait. Let's just see how far I can climb up before it just drops me. Uh, if you want to die... Oh well. If you want to die, you just drive yourself over the edge here. And we can whip in our, all the cardinal directions. And we can even whip it around, and we can actually control the, our jumps a little bit, too. And we can drop down from ledges as well as jump right on top of them. Uh, 
I love this track. And interesting in this game, and that only happens in the first level, so you can switch in between the different levels, layers of the level. I mean. Yay, they're already giving us pieces of meat. thing in the background is flashing at me. So that's good for deflecting bones or whatever are thrown at you. I don't want that though. I want the power up. Even though you don't need it, I can show you how to get it. That makes you invincible for a short while. Although, once the uh, invincibility wears off, it gives you a free split second to get your crap together or risk getting hurt. And as you can see, I use those hooks to get through parts of the level. And swing across. Of course, if you play this for you know this, but I'm assuming you don't. He meets a bow. Ooh, the double shot. Now, if you get a, a special weapon before picking that up, it just is turns into another special weapon instead. So now I can throw two of these at once. Don't want to pick that up. Gotta watch out for those things. I don't know if they're Medusa's hairs or whatever. I watch out for those horse heads. They'll wake up. Yeah, we're technically in the stables. Never seem to get past that one. This area is also kind of tricky. So, I kind of don't want to die here. You know, it's the first level and it should be easy as heck. The Medusa heads in this game are more annoying than mothers, I think. They're the most annoying. No, I don't want that. I forgot about that. Oh, right. Take care of it anywhere early that way. Yeah, if you jump on those, they'll flip over and you'll end up dying.
I like how you can sort of moonwalk on the stairs. Just another piece of meat. Here's the first boss. Jeez, that was a challenge. That's how we end the first level. Here's a map screen. It gives us a layout similar to Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghost Goblins. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. And Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins. But, that's a different game company. But, e every game did something similar to another game back then, and even today. But, this would be a good time to save the state. As I'm not using passwords. You get unlimited continues in this game. So that's good. And those hands just exist to mainly annoy you. And I don't actually care about losing the double shot, because that actually would be helpful here. This actually, this level is actually somewhat long compared to the last one. Jeez, this game, this game is kind of fairly generous in the beginning of the game, with the health power-ups. I wonder why they created a spike pit in there if it's instant death. Just so the geometry made sense? I almost forgot about that thing. Oh yeah, if you sink to the bottom you'll die, so don't do that. You gotta watch out for the snake weed. Kill the little froggy. That's gonna be helpful for the boss. And here we can die, so I don't wanna Tempt fate. I like being able to control my jumps. Just cross the bridge. We'll oh, gain an extra life. I'm at the point threshold. I think it's every 20,000. It might double that for subsequent lives. But here's the mini boss of the level. And technically, it is the boss of the level, because the level continues after this, but. Yeah. It goes down easy.
Oh, and we can die here too, so we're gonna take care of that. Yeah, who cares? That's why you'd want that. It just went into the ground. That's weird. Conclusion detection at its finest, folks. Don't jump in the nose. See, they're red for a reason, but they were censored for the North American release. I mean, they obviously look dangerous, but you wouldn't know that right away. And those are harder to see in the US version because they blend in. Oh, the, old, the water, watch out for the water current. It changes every once in a while. It's gonna go in the reverse direction soon. See? Don't let those things grab you either, otherwise it'll drain your health. And strangely, that's how the level ends. <laughs> Alright. I have time for one more level. But nah, the weather is really bad here, so I'm gonna stop. I decided against it. So I'm just gonna save my states. Plus, I have to take care of something. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye.